Hi everyone, we are back with a slightly modified edition of hashtag top drive spotted. Not only are we going to go over the submissions on the Instagram, but we're also going to talk about a recent competition that was held on the forums that you should definitely go and check out. A lot of cool pictures of cars over there. I'm Josie, I'm an analyst at Hutch. I'm Katie, I'm the community manager at Hutch. Uh, and I'm Jonathan and I'm design director at Hutch. So we had the competition running on the forums where you could submit either photos or footage of your own cars and talk about them a little bit. And the competition as we're recording this just closed, but we wanted to uh, highlight a couple of cool entries right off the bat. So uh, the one that I'm going to talk about is Heiss Rod's 2008 Porsche 911 4S in a lovely yellow colour. Um, and uh, yeah, I read a little bit about the, uh, the information that they left in Apparently they drove over a thousand miles uh, to pick it up, which is dedication, absolute it? dedication. Yeah, you'd, you'd think there would be a, a Porsche closer to your home than that. But he wanted the yellow, like he was specifically looking for it. And I think that's one of the things when you're looking for a car, you have a kind of color choice in mind. Like I personally wouldn't ever go out and buy a red car. No, it just makes you a police magnet. <laughs> yeah, and so I feel I can understand why they went so far. I did a couple hundred miles round journey to get my car, so... But that's a couple hundred miles. But if I did a thousand miles, I'd have done the length and breadth of the UK. Yeah. <laughs> and also the journey back, I'm assuming, was in the Porsche. So and and it, must uh, have been it lovely. It, it makes it more fun. Yeah. It's, a lo it's a lovely looking car. Though I'd say those wheels are... Well, I mean, just the, the, the whole thing. Um, I think sort of slight kind of body kit on it. Um, but. But yeah, there was, or actually maybe that is just how it how might it just be the American the body. Um, yeah. But the, yeah, th those wheels are just absolutely stunning. It's a great looking car. And it looks immaculate. I'm glad to see it's garage stored as well. I know. It's got a proper <laughs> home for it. Yeah. Cool. It's a very nice car. And, and apparently it was his childhood dream to, to own the car. So I guess we can't, we can't knock it too much. Can't knock it. So well it's done for, for achieving your dream <laughs> and enjoy your car. Yeah. Um, I was going to put it, uh, so little Enos Burdett uh, has sent in their 2019 Abarth 595 Competition uh, 70th Anniversary Edition. Uh, another yellow car. Another bright yellow. Uh, bright yellow. <laughs> Again, I mean, that's one of the things that's, that, I mean, it's just a great color scheme, the, the kind of the yellow and the black. Yeah. Uh, just makes it look uh, even more. It makes it more, feel like Bumblebee, doesn't yes, it? Like? So even more dangerous than, than it would usually. I just love the description of this. These are such funny cars, and I think, I think they, they capture it perfectly. <laughs> where there's like, there's so many things that just aren't right with it that yeah, you could criticize. I think there's some stuff I hear about the, the ride, the door hinges, we try to chop your legs off, uh, yes. drink uh, <laughs> petrol like a sailor drinks rum, which is a great way to sum it up, but just absolutely stunning cars. Um, They're brilliant, yeah. And it's, I think it's got so much, actually one of my friends runs one of, the, one of these as well, and, and they just got that same thing that it's just, it's like nothing else on the road, really. Yeah, I've had, I've had three friends have the 595s at Bath, and last year I went to the Abarth day um, that Fiat ran. Uh, I can't remember which track it was at, but we did a, a drive around with some professional drivers around the track, and I've never felt more terrified. <laughs> <laughs> so it's something so small. Well, I guess it it's that like short wheel, I mean, it's yeah, that short wheel it's base tiny. And, and reasonable height, you know, normal height. You kind of worry it's going to topple over a little Absolutely bit. Absolutely that. Yeah. I didn't understand how we were going so fast around the bend <laughs> and we were still connecting. But when you watched other people going around the track, you saw wheels lifting and things and you're like, oh, I'm that was me. That. <laughs> like, oh my God. <laughs> it shouldn't have stayed there. Yeah. But yeah, they're brilliant cars. They, they have a funny, it's a weird way of describing it and it's wrong, but they, they, they're almost like, Pyramid like. They are, yeah. And yeah, most cars have kind of the bits extending out and stuff like that. These kind of almost just come straight down at an angle. To, to yeah. The, I mean, it would be hard to get the wheels more out to the corners of that car, which is absolutely Yeah, gives but then the, the tapering, of course, helps lower the center of yes. mass as well. Yeah. So it's sort of maybe that's why it doesn't quite over. topple over, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, a very cool car. And again, in one of the photos, at least, it looks absolutely immaculate. Uh, so, it makes me yeah. feel bad about my car and I'll go home clean it all. <laughs> Yeah, cool. Some immaculate yeah. cars. So, thank you everyone for sending in your submissions. And the next thing that we're going to do is go over the hashtag Top Drive Spotted submissions on the Instagram. Um, we picked out our favourites. So, Katie, do you want to start talking about yours? Yeah, so 
One of the top drive spotted cars that really stood out to me was a Lamborghini uh, uh, Venino? Venino. Venino. I think Lamborghini it's Venino. Venino I'm, Roadster. You know, I'm not good with my <laughs> car right. pronunciation, so probably not the best um, so, person to ask. Well, well, we'll go with Venino. So this was spotted by uh, Boris Penev, 90, and it was outside a Four Seasons Geneva, Switzerland. Now, it's not surprised to see a car that's worth 4.7 million or whatever it is, 4.5, um, outside the Four Seasons in Geneva. Uh, so I started doing a little bit of research on this car because it's <laughs> insane. And the uh, the owner, I think, is uh, the Saudi prince Bader bin Saud, if that's how you pronounce his name. Um, and he's ha had this car appearing all over Europe. So two days ago, it was spotted in London. Oh, and... Wow he was driving it up to a a truck that basically had more supercars in it and he was about to load this premium car in take it off to the next place so he's obviously getting it out and about which is quite nice which is good i mean that because you i mean that is a crazy amount of money i just actually the photo is just something really nice it's just in a parking oh okay it's, it's outside a nice hotel but it's just in a parking space somebody's yeah, yeah. actually and, parked that and like, joe public can see yeah, it which yeah. is quite nice so it's not in a collection locked away it's um it's stunning car absolutely so amazing impressive. so i had a look at the stats it can do not to 62 in 2.9 seconds it's got a top speed of 221 miles an hour it's all-wheel drive seven-speed gearbox as I said, the price starts at 4.5 million. Starts. Starts. Um, and that makes the Aventador at like 345,000 look like absolute pocket change. Yeah. When you start, car, you start comparing, you're like, yeah, I could probably <laughs> achieve uh, the other one. I could swing for the first <laughs> yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. nice and proud. And probably the most expensive top drive spotted. I think uh, so far. Easily. Well, so far. Yeah. Oh, well, if we can find a pricier spot, then yeah. I think they'll automatically automatically win a slot on the show. Yeah. And it's a surprising spot on the road. It's not in a private collection or yes. museum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it has, yeah. Well. Yeah. has to be on the road, yeah. for sure. So good luck, so everyone good, out yeah. there. Have so fun with that. Thank you, Boris Penev. That was yep. an amazing find. <laughs> yep. Uh, I had a, uh, a look and I looked at uh, favourite underscore child underscore official. Uh, do you need to say the underscores in Instagram usernames? I didn't. That's fair. <laughs> okay. uh, who went to Yorkshire and has found uh, an, a lovely mini in a really gorgeous blue colour, which uh, is just a fantastic little look for that car. Um, an amazing car as well, the mini. So many were made, like millions and millions of them. And uh, the design remained unchanged from the 60s all the way and survived until the year 2000. It's just a very long run for a car. So just a pretty legendary vehicle in its own right. So... Thanks for finding that Mini. And I agree with the comment, can't get more Yorkshire than a Mini Cooper. Uh, and then I, I picked out one by the kind of ever reliable MJ Aldridge uh, wow. picks, which is a very lovely Maserati uh, Gran Turismo MC Stradale. Uh, it is, a, like, I never want to be negative about any cars. Now. Sort of, I, I like Maseratis, but often don't sort of love them. Uh, and, but then there's always that thing that sometimes like a certain model or they'll do something to a car that just tips it over and i think the mc stradale is actually that car for me it's where it's definitely like beautiful. the normal one is is cool it's fine uh the mc stradale is, is just a very very cool car i'm not sure i would choose it in the uh that color i think it's i've seen a few I, it's the sort of car that i just think go full on stealth fighter. So it's just like black or gray and just black everywhere. But, but having just said, I wouldn't ever buy a red car. So I'm going <laughs> yes. to be with this. I'm like, yeah, all right. That's it, actually, that does, oh, sorry, looking, uh, yeah, Casey's got the front view. I got the, the back looks a bit more like kind of red chrome, whereas yeah. the front view actually looks uh, better. So maybe I would just take it. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> just, they're just such mean cars and they just make such a good sound. Uh, they're so distinctive when they go past. So uh, yeah, just a, a great spot. Absolutely beautiful spot, yeah. yeah. And I love the carbon fiber uh, spoiler on the back. Yeah, the detail is just lovely amazing. detail. Absolutely yeah. delicious. So yeah, great. Yeah. Thanks very much to Boris Penev, ninety favorite child official, and M J Aldridge for your submissions this time around. Which one was your favorite? Go ahead and leave it in the comments. And if you want to get your own submissions sorted out on this show, go ahead onto the Instagram and leave your submissions with the hashtag Top Drives Spotted. Make sure to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Give this video a like and subscribe to the channel while you're here, and we'll see you next time.